Well, hello, Pisces, and happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for taking time out to tune in. Thank you for all of your subscriptions, your thumbs up on the videos, and of course, all the sharing. It is truly, truly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to click subscribe. Pisces, February 16th through the 28th. 2019. What is the energy around Pisces? Remember Pisces, this could be happening to you or you can be implementing it. This is general energy. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Spot on every time. This is the energy around you. Energy around Pisces. Sun, moon, and raising sun moon and raising what is the energy around pisces So you feel pretty stuck here and you have no idea which way to go left, right, up, down. Uh, there's a, definitely a decision that has to be made here. You are not sure if you have what it takes to get what you want here. And you are worried that it's going to bring you some sort of disappointment, heartbreak to you, to your surrounding environment. You just, oh, yeah, yeah, Pisces. This isn't a good way to start out your birthday time, but it just, it feels like you're just not really sure here. But with the high priestess and the star and the moon here, which I feel as though the high priestess and the moon are both belonging to Pisces, that both of these cards completely represent you with the star as the outcome. I, it's it's time to just scoot over and let the universe drive for you. Deep breath, Pisces. Do it with me. Everything's going to be okay. You are definitely wrapping something up here. And it does feel as though decisions, 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 decisions. Did I make the right decision? Will I make the right decision? Am, is this the right choice? It hurts though. It hurts. It feels like it hurts. Ay, 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 ay. So much in your head. Things aren't clear right now. It, you know, it feels as though that things have not completely worked themselves out yet. You're still in this process here for the next couple of weeks. Things are still going to be up in the air. Yep, I knew it was going to be about money. Okay, so, you know, even though the sun's coming up reversed here, yeah, you're worried if, it just, it feels like you're worried about, is this the right choice? Am I really going to be fulfilled in this choice? It has this decision really taken me where I need it to take me. And it just doesn't feel like it's on point. It feels like there is something else still waiting for you. You know, with the moon and the high priestess, I just, I feel like it's yet to reveal itself. You know, perhaps you've taken something on and you're not sure if this is exactly what you want to take on. There might be something, you know, I don't want to say is the grass greener on the other side because it's not really like you're thinking that. It's just, you're not sure this is the right fit. It's not all revealed here. Things are only going to be doom and gloom if that's how you think they're going to be, okay? It's really seriously about looking at the positive here, all right? 
Are you having to give something up to have the finer things in life, the more financial appeasement here? But we have nine, nine, 10, 10. It, this is really feels like it's coming to a cycle here, to an end of a cycle. So, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Ends of cycles, yep, mean new beginnings here. So you're on your way out of something, out of a certain situation here, and beginning getting ready to start something new, something that's going to really be, it feels like the right choice here. And the fact is, is that you've possibly made the right choice already, but you still need to see what this other option is so you can be 100% sure it's the right choice. So I think you should just go with your gut. Just keep being the best version of you. Keep doing things positively. Um, nothing half-assed. And you're not going to screw up your karma here. You are worried about fulfillment. You are certainly worried about this. Am I going to really have the satisfaction that I want to have with this choice? You know, am I choosing money over happiness? But this is the thing is you're thinking about this way too much. You need to not think about this. Release yourself from this overthinking here. Go with your gut. When the time is right, you will just know. You will psychically, you will intuitively just know. And whatever your choice is, it's not going to be the wrong choice. It's going to be the right choice. The star is telling us here, things are only going to end up well. This is more like, I feel like these cards are speaking about the voice in your head, the doubt. So no doubt. All right, no diggity, no doubt. You don't need to doubt yourself. You don't need to worry. Things are falling into place, all right? Relax. I know you're feeling trapped, so just take a beat, take a deep breath, relax, rest. Things are not completely clear yet, all right? The moon is hiding. And remember, we have a full moon coming up on Tuesday of this reading period. So perhaps things will be coming in clearer around before, on, or after, all right, within I'd say the couple of days before, a couple of days after of the full moon event. It just feels like your answer is you're just going to have your answer. You're just going to know. And having the finer things in life does mean sometimes you have to have some sacrifices. I just kind of feel like you're overanalyzing these sacrifices, making these sacrifices a lot more than they actually really are. You know, like you're thinking they're bigger than they are. But it's, I feel like with the star over here, it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine the high priestess, the moon, the right choice is going to be made. Rest and relaxation. That's what the nine of swords is telling you up here. We all have a fundamental, fund, fundamental need to take a break. Consider your foundation. You're being asked to look at how committed you are to love. How committed are you to getting past this heartbreak? How committed are you to getting past and being able to offer forgiveness? You know, forgiveness is for you. If you're able to forgive this person, that means you're able to move forward. Whether it's with or without them, you're able to move forward. But I do feel as though your, your psychic senses, you're the Pisces, so the psychic senses, you know, are going to tell you what to do, are going to tell you what the right choices are. I just feel like the star is going to overshadow any sort of self-doubt that you're worried about here. Because it does feel like you're worried about being able to have it all. So you need to seriously, when it comes down to it, decide what are you able to give up and is it really as bad as you think to give up? Okay? But you're just going to know. 
It feels like you're just going to know what to do. And that's, that's a good thing. All right. That's a good thing, Pisces. So just try and meditate, whether you are doing a traditional sitting down, um, listening to some sort of uh, music, listening to... Tibetan singing bowls, listening to a guided meditation, taking a walk next to a river, relaxing in a bubble bath, whatever your form of meditation is, just take that moment, take that breath and love yourself, treat yourself well, trust yourself to make the right decision. Things are going to turn out. You are, it, it just feels like everything you've been wanting, you're going to get. Relationship wise, you're going to have to let go of the heartbreak. Whether you're single or in a relationship, you're going to have to let go of heartbreaks and bad decisions made by yourself or the other person and or both. You know, you're going to have to release pain from betrayal and this can all be done through meditation and can all be done through forgiveness. Even if it's forgiveness affirmations that you're doing every day, I forgive Joe Smo for the things that he did to me or she did to me. I am grateful for the lessons I learned from these things. I forgive myself for the choices I made. And I am grateful for the lessons I have learned. I extend forgiveness and I accept forgiveness. And just this little meditation every day, this little mantra every day, helping you change the energy that's around you. Getting it out of your head because it's in your head, it's in your head, it's in your head. Stop worrying. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to work out perfection the way it's supposed to be for you. You are being guided. You are being shown. You can and will see. It's just a little confusing right now. Trust your gut, Pisces. Trust your gut. You got this. You are a badass. You don't even have to worry about it. You're awesome. And you got this. All right. You can do anything. I know you can. I believe in you. So believe in yourself. Pisces, happy birthday. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to show me some love with some thumbs up on this video. And I will chat with you soon.